interrupt this regularly scheduled program to bring you breaking news. Good morning. I'm Dan Maddox, live in Huntington at the corner of 9th Street and 4th Avenue, where the Morris building is on fire. Good morning, and I want to bring in someone right now who actually lives in this building. This is Eric Atkins. Eric? Yes. What did you see? What did you hear? Well, uh, I was sleeping this morning, and um, I heard a loud banging on my door. And I, I believe it's important to note that right now, at this time, we don't believe anyone has been transported to the hospital or taken to the hospital. Uh, but I, I guess, tell me, you're more familiar with this building. I, I, there's offices on the top of the floors, right? Yeah. There's where, a, are, where are people that live in this building? What floors are we looking at? Um, uh, people that live in the building would be on the fifth floor, which I live on. Fire is in the top part of the building right now. You've got multiple different fire stations spraying water under this building. I want to actually bring in a former firefighter, public safety chairman of the Huntington City Council, David Ball. Right, let's talk about this just a little bit more. You guys are putting thousands and thousands and thousands of gallons of water on top of this building collapse. That is a very real concern right now. Absolutely. Um, most folks realize that water weighs about 8.2 pounds per gallon. We have four aerial units shoving about 1,000 gallons per minute on top of the building. That's about 4,000 gallons of water. One thing important to mention that the upper two floors of this building are only offices, not residential apartments. There are apartments in this building, but fortunately, like you mentioned, everyone was able to make it out okay. And the, I'm sure you could probably hear right now the wind in this area has really, really picked up, and that is a concern as well, right? Absolutely. As I pointed out to you guys earlier, from the top of the building, you can see a lot of the embers that are flowing west now. Air agencies in this area are going to want to avoid really the downtown area right now. This, but to work to contain this fire. It is worth to note there are residential apartments in this building, but everyone was able to make it out okay. We will I'm Dan Maddox coming to you live in Huntington. We're following continuing coverage of a fire on the corner of 9th Street and 4th Avenue. The Morris building is on fire. Uh, let's go right over here. Carl Easton, Huntington Fire Chief, is talking to a member of the media. Let's listen in. We're going to go now. What we had, we had uh, at 8.40 this morning, we received an alarm. I that you're putting a lot of water on top of that building. There was some talk of some structural concerns. Is that something you're looking at now? Or? We, we always look at structural concerns when you're using large volumes of water like that. And, uh, you know, because it, it adds a lot of weight to a building. Uh, and, and, you know, we kept, we kept that in check. And, you know, that's something you always have to look at. At this point, are firefighters inside the building, or are you just taking it on from the air? Currently, they are inside the building. They are, they are attacking the fire from where they are. People that are living in this building, and no one was hurt other than a firefighter while fighting it, as he was injured. You have no loss of life here today. What, you know, what is that like? Well, you know, the, the, one, of the, one of the things that put a strain on our crews that we were able to do was, you know, going in and checking to make sure that everyone was out. And then after we did that, we had to send crews to the adjacent buildings to make sure that everyone was out of them and that, you know, that, that there was nobody there. And, you know, we had, uh, you know, uh, help from the uh, police department and blocking off traffic because when we have to lay these big yellow hoses, it, it Living inside this building was hurt. There was a firefighter that had an injury to his knee. And, I, and some, I, if, I, if I can, Mayor Williams, would it be okay? Mayor Williams, would it be all right if I talk yeah, to you real sure. quick? We're on live television. Okay. Um, you know, you had two, have two brand new businesses in this building, obviously facing smoke damage, water damage. You know, as someone trying to bring business into this area, what, just your thoughts on that? Well, it hurts. Um, and uh, the new businesses that came in it was a young couple that very entrepreneurial. Thank you for Thanks, your time, you. Mayor Steve Williams. Sorry to catch you off guard. Once again, we're here on Fourth Avenue, Ninth Street. They pushed us back quite a way. There was a concern not too long ago with the wind that picked up that the embers were going to be blown through this area, but that they pushed us back. We're kind of at the command post uh, right now from where we were earlier talking to Chief Easton that contained this fire 95 percent they're just putting out it, uh, hot spots at this point once again any of the people living in the building were not hurt only a firefighter suffered an injury to his knee we'll continue to remain here following this for you reporting live in Huntington I'm Dan Maddox we now return to your regularly scheduled programming